Why is it important for people in business to study operations and understand operations? Well, you have to start somewhere. You have to have a plan and you have to be willing to change the plan if need be. If you want to start in a company like this at a higher level, to understand the operations management is really key. I'm Mark Dwight. I'm the founder and CEO of Rickshaw Bagworks in San Francisco. So uh, we're here at our production line, and what you see here is a U-shaped arrangement of machines. Now, this is a very interesting process because this is modeled after the way Toyota makes cars. It's called lean manufacturing. This system is designed to be the most efficient from a labor perspective. And since labor is our most expensive ingredient in the making of a bag or any product here, we want to minimize the amount of labor. If we can employ automated sewing techniques and automated cutting techniques in compact digital tools like this, then we're achieving both of those goals, both being efficient in the use of our space and being efficient in the use of our labor. My name is Kevin Sudo. I'm the CEO of Zachary Chicago Pizza. We were able to figure out a way to have really efficient flow at this location to really kind of minimize the uh, amount of back and forth and walking that you know employees and servers need to do. The restaurant business, there's a lot more to it than just you know making food and serving food. If you have poor systems management and an inefficient way of doing things, or if you're not uh, you know aware of what's going on, keep your eye on what's going on. It's just I think it's a recipe for disaster. My name's Ron Lindenbush. I'm the official beer weasel for Lagunitas Brewing Company here in Petaluma. This is the grain hopper that after it's milled, it all goes into the hopper, and then that gets mixed in with hot water into this vessel, which is called the mash tun. And we steep it in here for a little over an hour and let it just do its thing, let those enzymes get going. We're extracting the goodies out of the grain into the liquid, and the yeast is what creates the fermentation by eating the sugars, Squirting out alcohol, farting out CO2, and, and you got beer at the end of a little short period of about 10 to 14 days. Our operations management over the years has changed a lot. You know, we've got 310 employees now, so we've really put together a lot better training system and operation system throughout the company. And we've got a director of operations now, VP of operations, that's going to oversee our Chicago plant and this one. So yeah, it's changed dramatically over the years, and that you have to as you grow. For me, the making is as important as the designing and the selling. And I like to say, we're not just marketers, we're makers. If you want to make things, you still can. And I'm here to tell you that it can be done. If there was a good reason for a college student to really study operations management, if they wanted to get into this sort of business, it's to be able to come in with the systems experience or knowledge and the organizational knowledge, to be able to manage a group of people that, where there's a lot of moving parts. You know, you need to learn that. It's essential that you know how your things are made because at the end of the day, your customer knows you for that product. So know how it's made. 